We have a lot to talk about as we head towards our weekend. We are expecting more snow and possibly quite a bit more snow in some areas, but also some extreme cold moving in. So I'll cover all that here right now. Starting off with tonight, we're going to be seeing a big band of lake effect snow showers transitioning north into Cook County tonight. Possibility of uh, portions of Cook County picking up three to eight inches of additional snow. Tomorrow morning, starting off pretty quiet, may even see some broken cloud cover, but those winds turn out of the northeast, which means lake effect snow around the head of the lake and all along the south shore. Another big system is passing down to our south, so it will actually technically be lake enhancement, but then lake effect snow really takes over as we head into Friday night and Saturday. And Saturday, going to continue to see quite a bit of lake effect snow in the snow belt region along the south shore. As far as up the north shore tonight, like I mentioned, anywhere between Three and eight inches of snow will fall up in portions of Cook County, so Lutes and Mountain should be happy about that. Anywhere further south, not expecting a ton more snow. But that lake effect snow, so this is Friday through Saturday, we're expecting anywhere between two and six inches here in the Twin Ports. The further east you travel, the better chance you have of picking up that eight to 15 inches of fresh snowfall over a two day period. There is a chance that uh, winds will be upwards of 40 miles per hour, gusting 40 miles per hour, blowing around that snow and creating near whiteout or whiteout or blizzard conditions actually during that uh, time period. So there's a chance that Highway 2 could shut down in some areas. Definitely seen that before with systems like this. So take that in mind and plan on just hunkering down, especially Friday night through Saturday if you live along the South Shore. And then the cold arrives. We're going to be seeing temperatures in single digits, both above and below zero as we head through the weekend and into the beginning of next week and really throughout next week, but uh, pr probably struggling to make it above zero Sunday and even on Monday.